So I'm YouTubers, it's Wild Computer here, and today basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to, uh, get, like, do a person dying and then their ghost pops out of their body. Um, I'm pretty sure I have an example. Uh, okay, no. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, just import your footage of this is what you're going to do. Let me just, let me make sure this is the right one. Yeah, okay. Um, so, this is my friend here, and we're just going to import the footage. And this is what you're going to have. Uh, right click on that. Uh, oh, don't do that. Right click on it, delete the track. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to lie there dead. And then lay there for about two seconds, not moving, and then pretend like you're the ghost. And then just walk away. Okay? So, now what we're going to do is I'm going to maximize that a bit. Switch that out some. And, not that's long, that is. Okay, so, you're going to skim through and find the part where you're about to come up about halfway. Or about there, I'd say. And press S. And that will split the film. You're also going, after you have that, keep your marker in the same place and press this little save, save snapshot to file. And just save it as that. And drag. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the first track and click insert video track. And you're going to drag this up the top. And you're going to take the image that you just saved. And drag it all the way to the end of the clip so you get it doesn't really do anything okay it just looks like nothing basically so what we're going to do is we're going to take the video of you on on the top track of you getting up and pretending to be the ghost and you're going to put it put your cursor at the very top of the clip or it's until it says opacity is 100 and drag your mouse down and drag that down to 50 and then it should get this effect. You should see that the ghost pops out, but the body is 50% transparent as well. So to fix that problem, I'm going to right click and insert another video track. Drag this to the top. Well, never mind. Keep that where it is. Drag another copy of image one on the top there and fit that to that. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to drag its opacity down to 50, and this should fix the problem. As you can see, it should. I mean, it's a little bit transparent, but it's the best you can do. And the body walks off, or the spirit walks off. The body is still a little transparent, but this is probably the best you can get. And so that's it, guys. But before we, before I go... Um, some people don't really know how to render their media off of, uh, Sony Vegas. Oh, by the way, I'm so stupid for not saying this, but this was made in Sony Vegas 9. Um, well, I'm using Movie Studio Platinum. I actually bought it, but, yeah. <laughs> Very expensive. I'd recommend you just download a torrent. I learned the hard way. Anyway, um, this was made in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 9. You can use just regular old movie studio. You could even use just the regular Vegas. Um, so, um, and what you're going to do is, once you're done with that, you hit project. And you hit render as under project. And you're going to save that to wherever your desktop. Call that whatever. Click save. Oh, before you do that, uh, hit cancel for a minute. Um, before you save, you see this little yellow marker right here? Drag that to the end of your footage then do that project render as save it and then it should save to your desktop and you get to choose the file format and everything and it should appear on your desktop so thanks for watching guys and i hope we learned something